like me. Hey guys, good morning everyone. So we're now back in the campsite and this is day four already. Actually, there's a lot of things that happened. So maybe I didn't uh, record enough footage to show you guys what happened. But basically first day, we got battered by really strong winds when we were camping on top of that ridge. So a lot of lessons learned from there because we camped in a really bad spot and then the winds came at night because when we were pitching the tent, it was completely still. The wind was still. But then at night it became like a full-on storm. The tent was like moving in a very strange way. Uh, we had to collapse the tent at 3 a.m. So how was that? It was a scary experience. Yeah. It was at 3 a.m. Dark. And then the wind keeps on blowing on your face and then it's pushing you uh, from different directions. So it was it was really scary. Yeah, because what we had to do was at 3 a.m. we had to collapse the tent. I, I didn't have confidence in the tent being able to handle that wind. I think the gust was like 60, 70 kilometers per hour. But then actually, in hindsight, I think we could have trusted the tent a bit more. I think it can handle it. Because our friends, uh, they have the same tent, which is this is the MSR Haba Haba. Highly recommended. I think it is able to handle that wind. It's just that if you look at the poles, it's a DAC featherlight pole, which is, uh, it looks a bit thin. 
but apparently people say it's quite strong so yeah I'm but sure. it's it is a very flexible pole so yeah. when the wind pushes this stand the pole is very flexible it goes up right left right left if you put it properly then it won't snap hopefully yeah hopefully so but yeah thankfully we made it down safely and then the second night the second night we were in yha to meet up with bari met bari yeah Hello. And then after that, on the third night, Bahri decided to join us on this crazy adventure. And we went up Angle Tarn, which is another high campsite. And this is not the Angle Tarn in Patterdale, which everyone goes to. This is the Angle Tarn near Dungeon Gill. The one that is quite empty, and there's nobody there, but it's quite beautiful, like you can see in the video. Probably. It's halfway to Scafell, so it's a good uh, camping ground if it's not windy, if you want to go to Scafell Pike. Yep. This time we have better strategy at dealing with the wind, so we camp behind like a like a mound of sand or something. We also check weather prediction. Yeah, and for the direction of the wind. Yeah, because anytime the weather says that it's above thirty to forty on the lowlands, in the high ground is gonna be way worse. The gust is gonna be crazy. So what we experienced that night was we don't get most of the wind, but what we got were the gusts. And the gusts were, were, were really strong as well. And this stand held up. Uh, Bari stand held up as well. That's the Vanyo Sol 200. It's a really good tent because of the design. It's like a tunnel shape. So Bari slept well. Bari slept well, right? Yeah, the I tent. slept well the, the first half of the night. Oh, the first half? The second half, because I woke up and then I, I had this constant feeling whether my tent would... <laughs> held up. Yeah, would uh, held up or not. So it was, uh, it, it was rather scary. Oh yeah. But overall, do you enjoy it? I, I enjoy it, but next time if I have to do it again, I would do it differently. Okay. Yeah. Would you prefer a campsite over a wild camping? If you want something comfortable, then campsite is something to go for. But if you want the, the full experience, then better go wild camping. Right. The, the only thing is then you depends a lot on the weather. Yeah. And to wild camp in the winter is always risky. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's always risky. Yes, yes, okay. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. So, oh my gosh! Crab! <laughs> oh, <no. Daddy. laughs> Those are all the uh, cheese uh, that uh, we have cut. It's okay, just put it in. Put it in, yeah? Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Three second rule. Three seconds rule. Are you sure? Yeah, okay. it's if okay. It's, it's, if it's, it's muddy, hot, it's hot. If it's muddy, don't put it in because yeah. we're going to be eating sand. <laughs> so. And probably somebody's poop. <laughs> yeah, but overall, good is, food. Thanks, Bahri, for cooking yeah, as well. Yeah, we, 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 oh, no we ate really well thanks to Bahri's awesome no, cooking. No, 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 uh, no. Eggs. He brought egg when we couldn't bother bringing <laughs> eggs because he's so bulky. But it's such a mood, uh, mood booster, you see. Yeah. Yeah, uh, a few things that work, uh, a few things that don't work. This is uh, Amalia's Thermarest Pro Light. The R value on that thing is quite low, it's like 2.4. But do you feel cold? Is it enough? On the first day, it wasn't cold. Second day, yes. But I just layered. Oh. Up, uh, so it's, it's, all, it's fine. Yeah, and but you're using what? Uh, sleeping bag? That's the. Yeah. Uh, this is the Mountain Hardware Lamina Z Spark. Z Spark, and yeah. this is quite enough because we went down to the zeros and the freezing temperatures. Yeah, and for some reason, yeah, not too cold, especially if not, you layer. It's okay. Mm. Yeah, I mean you still need to layer. You cannot just use your thermal thermals. Um, so it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I think, and we got this for this on discount, so that's good. Yep. Good deal. Fifty percent. And then I use this Thermarest. Uh, uh, actually, this is the best. This is the best sleeping pad. Highly recommended. <laughs> this is the warmest I feel and comparing in comparison to yeah, mine. Yeah, and this one the R value is almost is only zero point two above the Pro Light, but you can feel the huge difference. What is R value first of all? Yeah, R value, I don't know. <laughs> it's an ISO standard or something. <laughs> so anyway, this is R value two point six. That's R value two point four. For some reason, this is much warmer and because this one is so durable, you can literally burn it and it's still usable. <laughs> and yeah, so I think this is one of the best pets. Alright, okay. I think that's it for today's video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Choose life, choose the adventure. Don't forget us! Oh, oh no, are you okay? Oh no! I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> no, I didn't hurt anything. No. Okay. No.